And out come the teams. Ketrin playing in the traditional all red strip and uh, surprisingly Chorley not playing in their black and uh, white Newcastle stripes. They're in a sort of uh, turquoise top grey shorts and turquoisey green socks. They're all lining up and uh, both uh, sets of uh, staff going their separate ways over to the far side of the pitch and uh, Ketrin go to the uh, tin hat where there's about 10 supporters in there at the moment no doubt depending on the toss of the coin the fans will switch ends and uh, Jackson Smith in all blue and of course it's uh, Jordan Crawford's birthday today he's 25 years old I've always I've already asked him for a goal today and uh, he said he'd try and oblige I'm sure he'll be delighted to score on his birthday it's gonna be a corner then on this left hand side it's gonna be Reese Sharp to take it he takes uh, most of the set pieces so far, a lot of congestion in that penalty. The ball comes in, goalkeeper towards the back post. Daly puts one in, hits the bar, and then uh, is uh, cleared by Chorley. Only to Browner, gets the ball back to Smith. Jack Smith, he plays it out wide. It's missed by the Chorley player. He allows that, though, to go for a throw in. So, Unwin again, then, to uh, take this goal kick. Into catch the Samson underneath it, loses the ball. A good header there by Johnson. It's pumped back in. Jack Smith gets it. Head tennis going on here. There's a chance, but uh, can Daly get there? He can't. It's going to be the 27. Connor Hall's going to get through, puts one in. Ricochet, and I think that was going to be a corner, but uh, it went high and wide. Sharp tries to win, but he loses the ball. It's Whitehouse, pumps the board forward. There's a bit of a, a mess there. And uh, Hall gets the ball out wide to the 19. Alley puts the ball in, and that. Uh, is going to be a corner. Jackson Smith got his foot to, to it. Flicked back. Chris Smith intercepts. Clearance. It's a clearance. He's going to take the win. And uh, Scott Leather gives the ball away to Crawford. Crawford, though, does excellently well there. Plays it back to Brown. Brown takes an inside touch. And then again, he's being pressurised by Stanton. Back heels it to Crawford. Crawford back post here. Nobody there. It's headed over. A chance here for Storer. And it was taken off him by Sheriff. And if it had left it for Storer, Storer might have got a shot on target and he's eventually cleared. Smith gets the ball back, Whitehouse. And Whitehouse just gives the ball away. Well, a definite chance there, uh, Reese, and uh, I thought yeah. that should have gone in. Yeah, it was uh, Pep Guardiola tiki taka then. It was just a bit, bit, of, bit of showboating, but it was good. I think we should have scored there. Well out of his goal, so he doesn't slip. Good delivery towards Sheriff. Sheriff beaten to it, but Stora gets uh, a, a good bounce on it. Puts the ball wide for Barrett. Barrett now, will he try a shot? Comes in. Barrett, good save good from save. Uh, Unwin on the six yard box near post. Good strike from Barrett and cleared by Chorley. Throwing then on the far side. It looks like Blakeman with it. Comes in. Headed out by Johnson. So then he goes towards Ali. Ali in the penalty area there. It's flicked on again. Samson gets something on it. Needs to get in, in comes the shot there from Samson. He got to leaning back, he got a foot to it, and uh, it wasn't directed that well. And luckily for Ketrin, hit the tin hat. Another interesting decision from Paul Brown. I did think that was a Chorley ball, and uh, referee's given it Ketrin. And uh, so that's 1 1 on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's only been, to be fair, and the referee's only made a couple of dubious decisions, but they have been dubious when they've happened. In yeah, fairness. That was one of them, but. Uh, there we go. It's, uh, it's been Jack a Smith. It's been a difficult game, Cookie. Oh, here we go. He has a great ball here for Brown. Brown's away here. Can he unleash one? He can. And it's shot. Oh, and tipped away by the goalkeeper. Matt Unwin there. It was bouncing awkwardly for the goalkeeper. He was at full stretch. And that is a, a corner to the poppies, which Jack Smith will take. And who knows? That could have gone anywhere. Brown has scored a couple this season. Ball comes in towards that back post. There's the header comes in here. Shot in. A goal! 1 0! Chris Smith. Chris Smith. It's Chris Smith, gets the goal at the back post, lumps it in, Ketrin take the lead, Chris Smith. Well, it's unusual for Ketrin to get something from a set piece, and they did that way, it was a bit of confusion at the back post there, and Smith got something to it, and he piled it by, and Ketrin take a 1-0 lead just after half-time. Sharp robbed him, Sharp's away now, he's got Sheriff one side of him. He's got Storer in front of him, uses it's too much though for Storer. And uh, 
Away it goes Whitehouse on the far side. Whitehouse, still Whitehouse with it. Is he going to get the ball over? He is. Oh. It's a turn here. Might be a chance. In comes Ali. Oh. <laughs> and I have to say, that was absolutely <laughs> awful. Jack Smith uh, with it for the poppies. Everybody on the penalty area there. It comes in back post. S. Smith again. It's headed out. Sheriff can't get there. Sharp might try a long range. He's robbed though, and he goes down injured. And there's a breakaway here. Sharp looks in pain. He got caught. Ball's put out wide. It goes towards Ali. Smith still down. Ali on the penalty area. Comes inside. Jack Smith needs to do something here. Ball goes out of play. And uh, the linesman's allowed that to stay in, but it went out of play as the number eight puts in. There is Whitehouse. And it's hooked. Smith uh, has got up. Uh, Sharp's got up limping. Ball is still out. There is Shenton. And Whitehouse fires one over the bar. And then uh, Sharp goes down. He took a blow when he lost that ball. And it's going to be Sharpie on the uh, far side to take this uh, corner. A lot of movement in there. In it comes here towards uh, Daly wins it. Goes out there. Oh, Deacon couldn't get his feet right. Comes to Brown. Brown took thought about shooting. Goes out wide again to Sharp. Sharp puts the ball in here. There it is. Goal! 2-0! Connor Johnson. No, yeah, Johnson. I think it's Connor Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, the pressure paid off, and uh, Connor Johnson is getting congratulated by all the captive fans. It was well won by Daly, who got it back in there, got out to Sharp, and uh, powered into the net. 2 0 to the Poppies. Jackson Smith then gets us back underway, pumps the ball along as a charge for it. Halls is there, but uh, and oh. Scott Leather almost headed the ball past his own goalkeeper. He went into the goalkeeper's arms. The goalkeeper gets it out, though. It's a good header. There's a chance here for Brad. And uh, it's a penalty. Oh, no. Unbelievably not a penalty. And uh, not only that, we're going to get a player booked as usual when it happens. And uh, it's going to be Gary Storer who's going to go into the book. Never a penalty. But he went down like a sack of potatoes. And uh, the referee uh, pointed to the spot, so uh, straight away it gives Chorley a chance to get back uh, into the game. And uh, it is uh, a yellow card. Yeah, it's a yellow card, and that is for Smith, I believe. Yeah. Chris Smith, who. Uh, yeah, he just, I mean. He <laughs> Clattered into him. Connor Hall got the wrong side of him. He, you know, it looked it looked messy. You know, I think catching were appealing for a foul on uh, Smith, but well, there's a bit of argy bargy on the line. The Chorley player is. Uh, it's going to be Connor Hall to take it, and uh, catching not been too successful uh, against penalties. Anyway, up he step, takes it, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way and uh, goes in after six penalty catcher and have uh, given away this season and all six have been scored. And uh, from being nowhere in it, Chorley are back in the game. So they're rushing the ball back now to the centre circle. They weren't that bothered a few moments ago. Funny how it changes, isn't it? But uh, there we go, 2-1 then. It's a bit panic stations at the moment from Ketron. Yeah, they're just uh, they're just getting uh, just they're just looking yeah like exactly you said they're very very panicked on the ball trying to get rid of it as soon as they've got it that's better. And away comes Stead. He's got uh, Deacon in there. He comes inside. Stead goes one way, goes to the still Stead with it. Shoots. Oh, he did everything right. He that went one up way, up then the, the other. He had Deacon who should have had the ball on the six-yard line and then blazed it over the bar. It was a poor decision. Great movement from him though. Chorley really got the tails up a little bit. Well, since that penalty, Chorley have uh, really tried to attack Ketrin, and uh, there's still time to go for them to force um, an equaliser. Blakeman comes inside. Blakeman, he might try a long ranger. He's gone well. He got another foul there by Stead. Stead going into the book, and uh, it was a late tackle by. Uh, well, it wasn't a tackle. It was a late lunge by Stead, and it's put Ketrin in a very difficult position. As a free kick on the corner almost to the penalty area in good distance 
But it is uh, Blakeman with it, two in the wall for Catherine. Jackson Smith organising things. Blakeman, left footed, comes in towards that back post. It comes out, it's headed out there, cleared by Storer. Only goes towards Halt. He pumps the ball back in, it's headed out by Johnson this time. Now it's away here for Brown. Brown's got a load of run, he's got Stead one side. He's still got Stead on him, can he use him? Goes by one, falls over, and uh, the goalkeeper comes out. He should have actually released the ball probably for, uh, for Stead. Sheriff can't get there, Sharp can't get there, Stead can, gets it out wide to Storer, Storer plays the ball to Brown, Brown plays it long, cut out by Chorley, referee again, looks at his watch, that should be time in our opinion, ball comes over, final moments here, 12, 12 heads it out and that should be it, it's a goal kick and uh, Blythe puts his head in his arms, looks again at his watch and uh, it is played towards Sheriff, so into the Probably the fifth minute or three minutes added on as Stead uh, is uh, going to play the ball down by the corner flag. Stead with it. Referee going down there. Still Stead. Goes corner. down. Should be a corner. Free kick. Free take kick. Pick. Take your pick. We'll, we'll, we'll take free either. Kick. Throw in. Anything's <laughs> Anything fine. We'll do at the moment. <laughs> it can take as long as I like over this one. And uh, it's a free kick. Chorley not happy with that. Tough. <laughs> That's uh, five minutes of uh, three, five minutes, five of, minutes three, of three added minutes. Yeah, five played, minutes cooking. of three minutes added time we've had. So, uh, uh, yeah. So uh, it's in the corner flag again, which is pretty pointless as it's going to go out and uh, it goes out. There's a Chorley throw in. But uh, the referee uh, must be. On a, don't the clocks go back? Is it, when do the clocks go forward or back? He looks at his hand again. <laughs> And there it goes, finally the referee in the six minutes, the three minutes of added time. <laughs> Blows the whistle, Ketrin win 2-1. It was a gritty performance by both sides, a difficult performance by, uh, by Ketrin on a very difficult surface. But they've come out the winners 2-1 and uh, deservedly so. A good game of football for the neutral. 800 odd here at Ketrin, 857. Man of the match was uh, Connor Johnson.